Good morning, everyone. I'm getting ready to go fishing. This is my personal raptor. I'm up in the Cascade Mountains in uh, beautiful Oregon, getting ready to go uh, hopefully punish some trout. At any rate, I wanted to show you how I rig up my bike. I've got uh, my rod holders. I've got a change of clothes. Anyone that uh, has ever fished in the mountains knows it starts out at 60 degrees and it uh, may end up to be 80 or 90 in the afternoon. My cooler, my lawn chair, my net, and my three custom Jim Grant rods. Had to give old Jim a plug. At any rate, I um, wanted to give you guys an idea and open your minds once again. This has nothing to do with whether or not a person can walk or not, or whether they quote unquote need this. Everyone needs this. I myself am 52 years old. I walk very well. Uh, I run okay. However, I can assure you, I would not have gone nine miles or 10 miles like I did yes, uh, day before yesterday, pardon me, carrying all this gear, and I wouldn't have found the spots that I found. I find that people that love to fish, very few of them decide at a certain age they no longer like to fish, but the reality is they simply cannot do the things that they did before. For instance, go fishing with their grandson or granddaughter. Uh, this will allow you once again to get out there, and I challenge I get very frustrated when I hear again and again and again, oh, I can still walk, or as long as I can keep walking, or my doctor says I have to walk. Well, that's fine and dandy. Then go to the mall and take a walk. But the reality is I challenge any doctor to, to question whether or not this is good for mind, body, and spirit to be able to do the things that you want to do and enjoy doing, and quite arguably so. I would bet you even on this bike, when you're out fishing, you're gonna get more exercise and more walk than you would have been sitting at home in front of a TV because you had to pass on the trip. At any rate, um, wanted to give you some ideas and hopefully I can show you later some trout. Take care. What a beautiful day here at Diamond Lake. I'm scouting out some fishing spots with my Raptor. Pretty much this bike has the power to go all the way around the lake, which is about, I'm told, a 14 mile trip. I'll probably do it today. Otherwise, uh, as I said many, many times before, and the hardest thing I have to convey to people is, this has little to do with walking, the ability to walk, whether you quote unquote need it, everybody needs this. If they like to enjoy themselves and get out in the great outdoors, I can tell you that I simply would not have seen a fraction of what I see when I have my Raptor if I was on foot, or in a car for that matter, because you certainly can't bring a car here. And uh, I went for a walk the other day on this path, well actually on a different path up the way, same difference. And you know, I walked for about 30 minutes, then I got fatigued, had to go back to the car. Quite frankly, I could be out all day in the great outdoors and seeing beautiful sights like this because of my Raptor. It being ADA compliant, of course, you're allowed to ride it even where it says no motorized vehicles. This is a bike and a walking path, but this being ADA compliant, you're allowed to take it everywhere, which again, not only is great for people that have a hard time getting around, but how about for the rest of us that just wanna have fun? Absolutely breathtaking. Apologize for the jumpiness of the video. I have my my cell phone in my cell phone holder. Of course, it's plugged in so that I don't run out of power. <laughs> I never would have saw this. There's no question in my mind. shallow. I don't think there's any fish in there. That would be a great place to fly fish though, in case any did get landlocked.
probably faster to go around the pond the whole way instead of going back the way I came. A little more of an open path here. And I'm taking my time, but just as an example, if you want to see the power of the raptor, he certainly will go. I don't think we'll be climbing this, but again, here's the beauty of the balance and the weight of this. Do 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 do. Oopsie daisy. Try that with your quad. Let's get back on the road over here and see what else we can discover. Creek. Never would have saw it. Wow. Lovely. halfway around the lake now Diamond Lake Oregon if you want to google it absolutely gorgeous place one of the prettiest places I've ever seen in my travels really putting the battery to the test I've been running her hard now for about an hour I guess if someone needs to test it, it needs to be me. It's only right. You wouldn't have walked this, that's for sure. Got a beautiful scenic tour of Diamond Lake, Oregon. Coming up around the bend here. Of course, you hear her slowing down. I'm climbing probably about a seven or eight degree grade at the moment at a pretty good clip. Wow, what a view! Raptor taking on hills after a good 12 mile hard run. Heard some animal over there growling. Then I'm gonna time for the head frizzy hills. <laughs> but boy, she's rolling down, baby. Try this one, another scooter. Not happening or a golf cart. The lake I'm told is 14 miles around. I think I went a little further than that because I was of course uh, going off road and uh, put some real torque 
or I should say strain on the battery going off-road. From this point, I know I'm four miles from the campground. This is where I ran to get milk the other day. Good job, Raptor. I admit I stayed on the main road because uh, I was a little lost. <laughs> but now I know where I'm at, so I'm going to uh, take the scenic road. Oh, yes, I am. I think we'll go right through here. Oh, that's some soft pulp. <laughs> you got a success. I got some tree in my tires. Didn't stop it though, now did it. Alrighty, back at it. you the lake that I just went around not even kidding one way only going one way oh this is my little fishing hole from the other night the other day folks I just went around this entire lake give you a perspective. This thing is a beast. Follow out there kayaking. But I just went around this entire lake. even kidding what of you I just saw all of Diamond Lake yes I went around this entire lake I'm near my campsite again but I wanted to show you I saw the entire lake places I would have never seen before this is the lake I went around it took me about two hours and I still have plenty of power to spare to get home like this again. My goal was to get people out, out in the great outdoors. And I think we've accomplished it with the Raptor.